I say, look here, I've just pulled in a new IPT. I went to File, Open, and I found the IPTs are on my desktop by making sure my files of type for the IPT, comma, IAM. Once that's done, you pull this in. You have to hit F9. That gives you your red crosshairs to show the user coordinate system. I can't do it because I'm running a video right now, but you have to hit F9 to start off with. And you're looking at the top view of an object. The next step we're going to do is go ahead and throw the isometric on there by hitting this button. So now we can see that our 0, 0, 0 point is here. Our zero plane in the Z axis sits right here on top of this object, and the object extends below into the negative realm. And we go positive in our X and Y, coming this way in X, and that way in Y. Now, once we've created our box that's got our two pieces on it, we want to be able to flip that. It's a little bit tricky doing this as opposed to maybe like an inventor, but we'll show you how it's done here. So as we zoom in and out, we want to go ahead and center our object by hitting this blue cross right here. Next thing I'm going to do is I want my object still to be in the positive X and Y coordinate right here. And now I want the bottom surface to be at Z0. So watch what I do. I go to X form, dynamic X form, select entities to move. Click on any one line of this object and they will all highlight. Hit the green circle once you're done. And then it says pick a genome and origin position. We're going to pick the center point right here of our axis. Then we can kind of click on the different letters which ways we want to move it. I found it's easier to go to the Y axis first and get this dial going in this direction. Click on the Y and drag until that green arrow touches the next point. There we go right now. Oop, too far. Right there. All right. Oop, gotta get it to stay. Click. All right. Then what I can do is I can stay on this Y, this green line here. I don't want to switch over to X, but I'm still on Y. Slide back, and it gives me a scale to move the object back and forth in that direction, only in that direction. I was in a circle. There's another circle. I want the straight lines right there. I'm gonna pick it, and I'm gonna slide it back. Now, there's no way to be perfectly right on the money, but I'm close right about there. And I can see that when I moved in that direction, this number is changing. And it looks to me like it should be negative 3.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the keyboard, negative 3, enter, and it's going to click to the right spot. Next thing I'm going to do is click on the Z axis. Oop, wrong one. There we go, and slide it straight down. Again, I'm watching that counter up there, and it looks like 2 is the direction I want to move. To make sure it's there, I'm going to hit 2, Enter. Then it says double click when I'm done, and it's in the right place, and it's upside down. You can now see these whole features are on the bottom. So as a review, we move in the Y direction, we rotate it upside down, then we slide it back in the Y, and then down in the Z. Always use the counter at the top to make sure your number is perfect.